Beloved brothers and sisters, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, we welcome you once again as we rejoice and celebrate in the presence of God. This 23rd day of the month of August, year 2020, the Lord has been so faithful and his mercies endure forever. And of course, for our beloved viewers from Ogun State, this will be the second Sunday that we are coming together now to worship. Yes, we shouldn't forget in a hurry that it is the mercy of God that we are enjoying. It is the mercy of God that has made it possible for every one of us to be alive. When the mercy of God speaks, every other thing will fall in line with the will of the living God. God's mercy triumphs over us in Ogun State as far as judgment is concerned. How do I know this? There is a particular story in the scripture which demonstrates exactly what we are experiencing this time around. In Genesis chapter 8, verses 1 and 2, Then God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters subsided. The fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were also stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained. Of course, in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 6, God had earlier on regretted that he made man even in his own image. But regardless of that, Noah was found a man who walked in righteousness. And of course, the ark was made, the flood came, Noah and members of his household ate all together in number were in the ark. And then rain started. And the rain was over the face of the world, over the face of the earth, for 150 days. But then after that, God said enough was enough. And he decided to have mercy on humanity. Brethren, for almost four months now, especially in Nigeria, we've been struggling, we've been battling with COVID-19. But God, in his own appointed way, has chosen to have mercy over us. Mercy has triumphed over judgment in Ogun State. Mercy has triumphed over judgment in the Diocese of Remo. Mercy has equally triumphed over judgment in our country. I know the mercy of God has spoken for Nigeria, and we are beginning to witness again even peace, sadness, joy in every nook and cranny of our country. And by the reason of the word of God, this new week, as you go into every of the seven days, the mercy of the Lord will triumph over judgment. It doesn't matter what the devil thinks he wants to do concerning you. The mercy of the Lord will put you over. When the mercy of the Lord puts an individual over, every other problem will disappear. By the power that is in the word of God, my brother, my sister, you, your husband or your wife, your entire household, the mercy of God will triumph over judgment in your life this week. Wherever you go, whatever law has fixed you by way of difficulties will give way. Why? Because the mercy of the living God will triumph over judgment in your life. The plans of the wicked one will not prevail. Stay safe, remain blessed, and as you continue your journey of faith in this new week, the mercy of the Lord will speak for you in every way. Rejoice in the presence of the Lord and have a blessed week ahead in the name of Jesus.